one of my subscribers, Carla Jenkins, and shout out to her, by the way, sent me an amazing story right here about this seven-year-old boy by the name of Kavanaugh Bell, and he is basically doing his part in the midst of this whole Wuhan that is plaguing the world right now. So what he is doing is he is creating uh, care packages to give to the elderly who are unable to go out to the store themselves or maybe find anybody to do shopping for them to go and get their groceries. And he's just packaging them up and he's going to send it out to them. I'm loving this story already and I haven't even gotten into it just yet. Kavanaugh Bell is a seven year old on a mission to help other people and let them know that I got their back. He told CNN. At a time when senior citizens must stay in to avoid the virus, the spirited boy in Gaithersburg, Maryland, oh, my state, decided to make them care packages. The packages include toilet paper, some flushable wipes, hygiene products, and a bunch of food. The idea came when Bell realized his 74-year-old grandmother is in a high-risk age group for the virus. One day, I was thinking about my grandma, and I was like, oh, mommy, she shouldn't be going out to the grocery store because it's virus season. She's my best friend. You want to know what's so crazy? He's the first person that I saw say it's the Wuhan season. That right there is a little, it's a little eerie when you think about it because you hear flu season and stuff like that. But it's going to come to a point where people are going to be saying it's this season. After helping his grandma, the boy with the big smile and bigger heart looked at his grandmother's neighbors and her, at her senior citizen home and worried. He was so heartbroken that he didn't have enough to give everyone. Lacey Simmons, Bell's mom, told CNN. So Bell used $600 he'd save up to fund his first batch of care packages. I asked him how much he wanted to use from his savings, $50 or $100. He's like, let's use all of it. Bell assembled more than 100 care packages and hot meals to deliver. When news spread of the first graders' good deed donations began to roll in. It's become more of a community project that way, but only Bell and his mother make the deliveries. We aren't allowed to gather in large groups, the supportive mother said. And with an overflow of donations, Simmons and Bell have created a community care pantry in Gaithersburg. Hopefully we can help a thousand people. We plan to do this until we run out of donations or until the pandemic is over. It makes me feel beautiful inside because I like giving back, Bell said. If you would like to contribute to Bell's community care pantry, you can donate to his GoFundMe account. And I have and I will post the link to the account to the GoFundMe down below. And I'm actually on it right now. He has a goal of ten thousand dollars right now. It is currently at five thousand nine hundred and ten. I think that can be reachable by the end of the week. But this is the kind of stories I like to talk about. So first, you know, in, in another black male. Let me interject that there because a lot of people love to downplay black males as if uh, of any age, as if we don't contribute to society or don't help out in the midst of a crisis. First, I did that story about those brothers down in Georgia who want, who were creating those portable, uh, I think it was a water uh uh, water those portable sinks so they can wash their hands and sanitize. Now you have this little boy, seven years old, with the help of his mother, create care packages to deliver to the elderly who are unable to go to the store because of, you know, their age or maybe some pre-existing conditions. These are the type of stories that you won't hear about on lamestream media. Because they're going to continue to pump out how many people have been infected, how many people have died. But they're not going to talk about the little people like this who are actually trying to contribute something to society. Now, the only good that they'll really talk about is the people who are in the healthcare industry, who are nurses and doctors and working in hospitals. But even that can become a little bit draining because of the stress that they have to deal with day in and day out. So it's actually a good sigh of relief to hear something very good like this. So kudos to this this boy and to his mother for doing something that is very beneficial. More people hopefully are able to do something like that. I understand that many people don't want to take the risk because it will involve them having to be outside. And this is in the be even the biggest part about this because of the social distancing thing is that he and his mother are practically doing this by themselves with no help because of the social distancing thing because you would not want to risk any one of them getting sick, and then it puts a halt on their entire operation. 
But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Twitter if you haven't done so already. Have your notifications turned on, and I will talk to you in the next one.